professionals or pros. I'm decided yet. Pros are stupid. I should. Just, it should just be pros are stupid. Yeah. That's okay, that's nice, that. tight, short, powerful. Finalized. And the reason why I'm calling it pros are stupid is because they are. No, I mean sometimes, once in a while, right? We're all stupid. Actually, professionals are really smart. They're really good. And if you ever meet or get to play against one, you will recognize that immediately because you will just have your butt just swap, just you know, swashbuckled all over the board. But uh, I found a couple games where pros made huge mistakes, like real early on. Oh, that was a doorbell. Yep, yep. They're coming. They're coming. Uh, like game over kind of dumb mistakes, like early on. Mm -hmm. So you guys want to see like the pros screw up, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 So this is a game. Uh, I don't. I don't. I'm not very familiar with these players. These are two Japanese players. This was. This is actually from 1996. Uh, Kudo Norio is the white player. Ono Nobuyuki is the black player. And it goes like this. And so far, any mistakes? You guys should actually. This is the game that we're yeah. playing is. You guys have to tell me when, when a pro makes a mistake. And black already decided to go for the crisscross game. Go for go for the cross game. Sure. Oh, nice. So any mistakes yet? No, I think not. No, no, no. All right, how about this? That's fine. 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 So far, so obvious. Hey. Fine. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, cool. It's good. Not personal choice. Mark tries to punch over here. Still good, right? Yeah. Black honey. Good? Mm -hmm. So for the people who just walked in, we're doing pros are stupid today. <laughs> so we're looking at two examples of humongous professional mistakes. Uh, Be confidence building. That's right. This yeah, is just ego. Cool. Yeah, we're just we're just feeling good about ourselves today. Yeah. Are you gonna let us know when it is, or are we gonna try to spot it? You have to try to spot it. That's okay. that's the little mini game we're playing within the game. So this is this is a, a 1996 game between two Japanese players. And I place here. It's good. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you expect Black to play? I'm expecting to save or something. Probably to send, maybe. This one? Yeah. Uh, it's possible. That exposes the cut, but we also still have our own cut exposed. Mm -hmm. So there will be a cut push through kind of scenario. Maybe just connect then. This is probably most normal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is this type of shape, which is a pretty cool shape. Mm -hmm. uh, it threatens to come down there and make good shape. It also has a little bit of defense there, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this is not a mistake. <laughs> it looks okay. weird, right? This is this is fine. All right. So how about here? It looks brutal. <laughs> looks brutal. You have to know how to deal with this. So how do you think Black deals with this? I'm gonna drink my tea. <laughs> I'm maybe like. I mean, I'm thinking something either like B7 and then try to do B3 after yeah, the spawn. Yeah, I'll see. So just like live small. Yeah. Right. That's something if we're doing super passive, I don't think that's the way to go yeah. about it. But this was White's corner. White got to play three moves here until year one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a terrible result for Black, but it's better than the game. <laughs> really? Okay, awesome. Good to know. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the mistake is coming up. We're better than pro already. All right. Uh, black plays here. Yeah. But like white descends. Correct. Of course. Does black. Black. Did he connect? Please don't say he connects. So normally black would play here to short this liberties, right? But what's the problem? What's he, yeah, the ladder. White has the ladder. Crazy, right? Uh, although, even the fact that White has a ladder, though, doesn't mean it's completely lost yet, because Black can do this. And actually, Black's still pretty dead, but maybe can make two eyes. I mean, he still has the B3, right? Uh, he still has B3, and he still has this move, and he can capture two stones to make these into eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I think we're alive. Like, I think, I think White needs to play over here, and then Black will play over here, and then at some point capture. 
Um, so I think black's okay in that variation. But uh, this black doesn't play it. Um, black plays here. See, I knew it. And what do you think happens next? Um, probably a capture. Uh, capture? The. How? Let's see, one, two, three, let me count real quick. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure you have to start at least with B6. Yeah. Okay. You can X. And then? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. Got short of liberty. D5. Yes. This is the game. Okay. Yeah. And Looks black resides good. here. <laughs> <laughs> and so what can black try? Why, why, why is black resigning? Because he lost that whole corner plus four stones. And well, well we, have, we have to know what, what happens here now, right? Throwing? No. Yeah. Uh, Throwing time. I mean, you can just literally play, yeah, A little time. five. Mm -hmm. All right, what's next? B2. And then? Black probably tries to tarry as C2. Mark. Good. And then? A3. A3 is good. Uh, no, it's not, uh, it's not good enough. Oh, it's not good enough? Right. And I, I think, actually, I didn't. Um, let's, let's try it. Take. Takes. Sorry? Torres. Oh, yeah, it's not enough. Uh, <laughs> and black plays here. Oh, my gosh, it's really fragile. This is getting wild, actually. Double Atari, or not double Atari, but yeah, this like that. Yeah. Actually, White would probably take this Atari for this. So, I'm gonna play here. We can do the same thing again. Here. I'm not, I, I actually, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't reach out this variation earlier. So, uh, that doesn't work. We're gonna have like black just slightly squirms out in this variation. <laughs> what a beautiful shot. That was so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> well, if it if works, it lives. it's not stupid. It's not stupid, right? <laughs> I don't think it works though. Yeah, it feels like this is probably. And you use diagonal out. Yeah, and then like white dies a lot on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I think black actually gets out in this method. <laughs> if A3 is played. Yeah, but yeah. obviously not then. Uh, let's go back. So I think we're here. Can we try it connecting here? Mm -hmm. And what? Oh. Uh, A2. Okay. Right. You play B1. Okay. Oh, B1. Uh, I think C1 is the only thing you play at this point. Oh, actually. Wait, maybe I, I, I assume this was a standard tombstone with Tsuji. What happens if black plays here? Yeah, it's not. But then D2, right? Huh? D, white plays D2. Then black comes here. Is it not enough? No, no it's not enough time. Then, oh, you're gonna play there first? You need to make an exchange. And then you can, uh, oh. Black still comes there. All right, this is not, this is this. I, I should have like actually read this out. <laughs> I just got to the point where they resigned. Well, we need to figure this out, people. Hey, video is the time for it. We're going to go down the road here. No, no, here, here, here. Let's, let's go back. So we're here. Black, the black plays here. Atari. I think that's the only move. The, the other thing is crazy. Like, I'm actually really enamored with this. <laughs> but it looks like we don't quite have enough. So, 
right here. Yeah, this connection actually seems uh, to work for black. But if black plays here, what happens? Atari? Throwing? Yeah, this is a uh, yeah, this liberty. Connect. And now it looks pretty dead, right? Like if we come here, yeah, this is dead yeah. in this case. So uh, is it dead in the other case? This is this is this is the the one I read out earlier. I was just like, oh, it's a tombstone dead in the corner. Do you guys know this shape? Oh yeah. You've seen tombstone before? I've seen tombstone before. I'm not like great at seeing it, but yeah. So it's it's when you have a two two point. I mean, there's, there's actually tombstone on the side of the board too, but uh, most common, most easy to pull off on a two two point, so you just descend. Oh, this is a connection. And your opponent has to keep, you know, capturing and recapturing this space so it gets squeezed down. But you know, if we didn't actually figure out this move, right? Does White have an extra move before? in this sequence? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. White, white can make this exchange, right? Yeah. Because Black can't play here? Because of this cut? Atari, Atari? Okay. So we give White this exchange. Yeah, okay, okay, never mind. Yeah, this still works, this still works. This connection just freaked me out because it wasn't the tombstone, and that's... We're good, we're yeah. good. I'm stupid, too. Um, black can start filling liberties. White can capture. Actually, white should <laughs> capture this way, not the other way. <laughs> just for oddies. Right, capture. Black can take away another liberty. Oh, there we go. Oh, we didn't get to play Tombstone if we do it this way, if black connects, so. Mm -hmm. Either way. Either way. Yeah, so this was a major white failure because white doesn't have this ladder. Here, I'm going to play it through one more time quickly so you can see that ladder yeah, that's Black's failure. failure. Black's failure, thank you. White failed by winning the game. <laughs> 25 moves. So this corner sequence, black, it's pincered, ignore, on top, on top, stay strong, attach, and black's, this is good move for black. Right? Black's is trying to live here, black already was down and moving the corner. Standard, not completely standard, but not, it's, it's like Joseki close enough. It happens. And then white is the ladder, so we can cut. And down. This is the move that you need to play in order to play this variation. If you cannot play this move, this variation is no good. You can't play it because you have ladder. So I'm a little confused. You said yeah. B5 was fine, but B5 C is okay. fine contingent on you have the ladder. So it's the thing is, you have to, then you're going to give up this stone. Right, B5, you're going to have Atari this way. And I'm, by fine, I mean it's a local loss. Like, it's not a great, it's like, no, no one wants this result for black. Right? So, black is fine, right? Black's totally, 100% fine. But it's not a lot of points, and the outside influence you give up is worth more. But, you already knew you were taking a local loss because white got an extra move in that corner, so... I don't know how to evaluate it. Like, you know, I would need to be a much stronger player to say, like, how much of a loss is that extra move worth? And obviously, in this case, if you don't die and you take some points in the corner, that's better than dying and taking no points in the corner. So, it's, it's, it's better. <laughs> like, it's fine. That's why I say it's fine. Because it's better than what happened Real in the game. Bird. Yeah, I mean, I can't say definitively it's the best result, but I can look at this and go, hey, it's alive, I have some points. Uh, White's got thickness, there's a little bit of agido. It's fine. Not ha super happy but I know I'm not super happy because I got an extra move over here. Was that too cool? Mm -hmm. All right. You want to see another really stupid pro? Yeah, sure. This one, we're going to go to a really dark and scary place. Because this one is, it involves one of the most famous Joseki that you use to trick people. And when we talk about hard Josekis, like what are, what are the famous hard Josekis that you use to trick your opponent? 
Mr. <laughs> <laughs> gone. I have no idea how to trick my opponent. This you know? is the magic sword. Yeah, there's something. magic sword variations, right? It's not one I've done, but... So stuff like this, this is like a very famous complicated trick, you know, with lots of trick and moves and things. Uh, that's, a, that's a trick Joseki in this shape. This is a standard Joseki, but it looks like a trick move. This is a standard Joseki, but it looks like a trick move. Like this, is, this, this one, you just, this one's complicated and hard, right? Mm -hmm. It's another complicated and hard Joseki that you can often use to trick people. Small avalanche. Small avalanche. Very good. I wouldn't say it's like a trick Joseki, but it's, it's not a trick Joseki, but it's tricky to play. Yeah. And there are trick moves within the avalanche. Uh, oops. Wait. For instance, does anyone know the next small avalanche move, the standard sequence? It's to go oh, it's just like 17. And then what does black do? There's actually several options. <laughs> Black tries go for E18, I think. Yeah, this is the normal one. Yeah, this is the one I see doing that. Normal move here. There is a quasi trick move. I thought this was for the ladder. You have to have the ladder to play. Yeah. It's, it's a trick move when you don't have the ladder and you play it. If black has the ladder here, this is just a trick just like. Anyway, so that's a famous one. What's another one? Taisha? You guys know Taisha? Do you know I know the name of it. <laughs> no of Taisha. You know of Taisha? Oh, Actually, see. usually it starts, let's say white has 5 3. Black plays 4 3. The Great Slant. This one is known as the Joseki of a Thousand Variations. Mm -hmm. Nice. And pros study, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of the variations that come out of this are really like, you know, 20 to 30 move variations. And so a lot of pros throughout you know, history, um, especially over the last 100 years, have studied you know, these variations to find moves that no one else has discovered, right? That your opponent will not have to deal with. But this is sort of a standard type of sequence. Anyone know the next move? Taisha proper is here, yeah. okay. and white cuts. If you just want to not deal with Taisha, you go here. You kind of should have a ladder to play this way, though. Kind of. There's your ladder. White gets a big fat corner, but you did not have to deal with the Taisha. Another way to not deal with Taisha. Actually, we didn't even show you the complicated version yet, but if this happens to you, and they're like, mm, 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 mm. you can do this. And crawl like the little old sad man you are. You just like straight up catch him and eat like F17. Uh, uh, I finish it. So there's your, there's your like, I don't want to play Taisha today variation. Let me just give you my points. Right. What was your question? Could you just attach straight up underneath that F17? Let's have a look. F17 is here. Right here. Yeah, I think the, it's not as good uh, because number one, you're giving the white white. You're not poking at whites. You're not leaving white with defects. Mm -hmm. And number two, you're also giving the chance to white to switch direction. Okay. So if you play this way, white is white doesn't really have the option to switch direction. I, mean, I guess white can. Ah, eh, who knows? Who cares? Yeah, actually, white can switch still switch direction. This is fine. Uh, actually, black should probably. Play. All right. Um, all right. So I can switch direction either way, but this, you know, this poking at this is pretty forceful. So there, are, there are there are ways to get out of Taisha. But again, the complicated variations usually start this way. And this is the main line, but from here, there's the variations really start to branch out. Because now it's how does white deal with these two stones? How does black deal with these two stones? Who gets to make a, a solid base first? Because this group needs to go this way. This group kind of needs an extra move here or here. And that's, this is this is like your Taisha classic thousand variation variation. You guys are not excited by Taisha. Okay, good. That's good. All right. There's still one other really 
famous trick hard Joseki that you guys have not mentioned yet, and it's the one that's from this game. Is it a The large avalanche! <laughs> large avalanche is freaking terrifying. And it's, it has kind of that same mystique as the Taisha, where, you know, there's a lot of variations. In one move, if you can play one move and your opponent isn't unfamiliar with it, uh, you can often trick them. So you want to see you want to see a pro play a large avalanche variation? Sure. I mean, <laughs> I don't know much of the large avalanche. Yeah, it does. It, it, if you don't know the large avalanche, you're just like, oh, stones on the board. No, but it, it's weird because it's like one extra stone. And they're like, yeah, this one's also really complicated. I'm like, yeah, yeah one stone matters like so much, right? Like those things are just. Uh, I gotta find. This is. Uh, hold on, let me just bring it up on the iPad first. This is the. This is actually the shortest game. The first game I showed you, the twenty move game, was the first. Was the shortest game that was resigned because of a mistake. It was twenty moves. This is the shortest game that was played in China to resignation. Um, there was a there was a tournament game that was played to two moves um, before resignation, but that had more to do with the player showing up um, and he was sick, but he thought he could play, and then he sat down at the board and played a move, and then went. No, no, I don't. So we don't really count that one. Uh, so... I'm going to teach us the best life lesson. Yeah, how come this didn't search? My iPad failed to... There we go. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, maybe it's from 1996, and that's why I can't find it. I sometimes only pretend I know what I'm doing. Where is this game? All right, one second. Let me double check. It's Chen, or Che Che Zewu in 1992. Che Zewu. 1990. Two. Hmm? Hmm? There it is. All right, here we go. Sorry. Can't read iPad. Uh, so this is two Chinese players. I'm not familiar with them. Che Zewu is white. Zhang Wendong is black. And how's that? Is that a mistake? Oh, yeah, that's really aggressive. Yeah, it's sort of just unnecessary, but it's bad classical theory, but it's good. You can do whatever you want. White takes another corner. And black plays here. Uh, white. Respond, oops, sorry, here. Black crawls on top. White crawls underneath. And lo and behold, what is happening? It's happened. Well. It's all it's all it's 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 after this exchange. It's the large avalanche shape played in a terrific or order. Right? This is not usually the order in which you see the moves play into this large avalanche. So here, let's let's review how the large avalanche goes. Black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. That's the traditional order. <clears throat> Where you start with a high approach and then you sort of butt in and then you crawl out and around. And that's not what they did. Started with this large approach. White's like, aha, the corner's mine. And black's like, no, it's not. And white's like, no, I want even more. And then they backdoor into it that way. Really weird. But it happens, right? You transpose the Drosecki. Okay, right, so we're in this large avalanche. Lots of things can happen in the large avalanche. Like, there's a lot of variations, like I said. And they're all really cutthroat. Like, one move will light, lead you to death. Kind of cutthroat. And a lot of the other thing that makes large avalanche complicated is a lot of the variations Resolve into a multi-step co. Ah, huzzah! I mean, just like not only is the Joseki complicated, how it resolves is complicated. Like it's left complicated on the board for such a long period of time. Uh, but so far, they play a pretty standard variation, at least for a little while. It looks like the small avalanche at the start. Mm -hmm. uh, it functions pretty similarly. Uh, black cuts right away. White stands, black makes shape, and again, this looks very similar to a small avalanche variation, if you know a 
small avalanche version. The difference is, in the small avalanche, white usually takes this stone, black gives it up to capture over here. Or in this case, black defends, and white shortens the liberties. All right, so even before we continue the Joseki, what is in trouble here? What stones are not in trouble, I guess, is probably a better question. The two on the outside for white. <laughs> These look safe. These are the safest. End of discussion, right? Three liberties on these white stones, and they're behind enemy lines. Three liberties on this on these black group, and they're behind Next. enemy lines. Uh, those are really painful. We have four liberties on this white group, but there is these Ataris here that black can use to separate it off. We have four liberties here on the black, but way behind enemy lines. Only two liberties, and it's a cutting stone. So, you guys find the next Joseki move? Joseki move? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can. I think. I think it's possible. Because because what's going to get eaten first? Like, what are what are the players going to be able to take off the board first? Wait, whose turn is it again? Black. Okay, I'm sure. Two ones on the inside are the ones I'm least worried about right now because they have the space. I'm the really two worried. stone groups or the three stone groups or which? The black two stones in the upper right. Yeah. Are the ones I'm not currently worried about. Good. You shouldn't be worried about these yet. Yeah. Again, there's so many things with fewer so, liberties. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's I either think... the cutting the stone or the ones in the middle, and I'm yeah. kind of worried more with the ones in the middle. Yeah, you have to be worried about these. Yeah. The reason why I mean the cutting stone is actually really hard for white to capture because. If white does this, uh, there are some problems here. White can't actually take the outside because black just eats the inside. Okay. And so a lot of large avalanche variations make this shape, which leads to crazy co things. Well, that's not the variation we're playing today. But these, this group, ah, cutting stuff. Only three liberties, and it's worth a lot of points. And it's really important. So how do we protect this group? A G15, honey. Mm, a, little, I a little aggressive, I think. I was thinking you G17 to like threaten to cut the stone or something first to make the honey stronger. So here's the thing. You really don't want to necessarily take take all your Aji away. You want to leave your opponent with defects because you don't know how you want to make use of it yet because how you use this Aji depends on what happens over here. Shape move. Just play shape move. Okay. Just get strong. If you can't capture, if you can't capture or kill anything directly, just get stronger. All right. What plays this move? And this is this is like an actual variation. This is this is a standard sequence. Uh, we run this out, and now we come back here. Okay, standard. This is actually Joseki. It's super hard and complicated. How many moves are into this Joseki? Let's see. This is move twenty-nine of the game. There are three stones on here. This is so far, we're twenty-six moves into this Joseki, and it's still Joseki. Uh, what does White do? Good. What do you think black does? F13. F13 will come after these two stones. Uh, so you're just giving up your two stones in the corner. You're saying, screw you. You're done. I, I mean, it's an idea. This is just, imagine these two stones aren't here. You capture these two, and white gets all of this. Seems good for white. So I don't think we have time to play this yet. Like we, this is a good move, but it's just that we have too many other things that are worth more. Does he descend G18? Yeah, G18. Nice move. Throw a second. White plays here. And what do you think black plays? Any more liberties. Any more liberties. So, how do we get them? G18. Oh, 17. 
Ah, so actually this is interesting. This is the normal move. And the game black plays here. So it was right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know this to be Doseki. I don't, I don't know this move. Um, it, it's, it's, it has a lot of weaknesses. Because when white plays here, white, white, white is threatening to wedge. Um, so this is kind of a trick move. But I don't, I don't think this is the winning trick part of the trick. Okay. So here, black deviates from the variation. Um, and maybe, maybe it's an outright mistake, I don't know. Uh, because, well, here, you'll see. And actually, actually yeah, blacks, blacks, I haven't told you who's gotten tricked yet, so we should not spoil things. Yeah. Um, I'm better than normal, normal move is here. Black things. And so right away, the white immediately exposes the shape point. This is a, would be a bamboo joint, right? But one of the bamboos is occupied. So, another place here. This is a, remember there's a four to four liberty capturing race going on over here. If he connects, uh, uh, if white plays there, he wins the capturing race cleanly. Okay. In this case, uh, there's this problem. Sharp, right? So, yeah, avalanche, man, super hard. Like, large avalanche, especially. Like in my own games, I'll play small avalanche, fine. Like I know, I know a number, enough of the variations to kind of feel like I know what I'm doing. Large avalanche, I won't play my games. All right, you guys asked me to play large avalanche. Nope, we're just playing one of the non variations. Let's get out of it. I don't know well enough. Um, and, and, and part of that is just because, you know, I go to the US Go Congress every year, and at the Go Congress, I'll go watch the high players at the high tables, and not in every game, but often enough, you'll see them playing large avalanche variations, just trying to outwit each other or with some new research or some other move. And I'm, I'm scared, right? I go watch them play it, and the whole time I'm going, mm, mm, mm. so I don't play this. <laughs> All right, but after this exchange, white plays here. And this is not the normal move. I guess we're already kind of not on the normal, normal sequence anyway, but this one is especially not the normal move. What is this white move threatening? To take those three stones. That yeah, to take these three stones, right? But if white takes these three stones, what does black get? Everything you want is. Yeah, like the five stones and all the black stones are strong, right? Mm -hmm. Well, maybe. Wow. Black asks for more first. And the trap has been sprung. Do you guys see the mistake? I bet you can't. I didn't see it. No idea. I just have no idea. But this move makes the whole thing work. It's hold on to your butts time, guys. You know, it's just, it's just <laughs> you just have to, have to see. White plays here. What do you want to try is black. Here, you guys play black. Your job is not to die. <laughs> Don't die. Man. <laughs> I guess you tr gotta try to push through for that first. Uh, this way or this way? Yeah, the, uh, first way. If we do this way. Let's assume white goes there. Yeah, have to connect. Have to connect. No choice, right? Yeah. Snap back. Self Atari. Connect. Only move. Connect. Okay. White plays here. Okay. Three first. I understand. Right. Yeah, it's getting. Yeah, that stone does make a huge difference. Um, well, I'll show you what they played, and this is actually going to be—it's going to look pretty similar. Um, black first pushes out this way, okay. and covers. Oh, sorry, sorry. No, no, not covered, not covered. Uh, white takes this point again. And has to connect. Now it covers. All right again, very similar to what we just did, mm -hmm. uh, except no, it's actually exact, exact same, right? They just played a different order. 
So we're here. Uh, black take. We're gonna have to rewind and look at a few variations because there's a few possibilities for black here to try to escape, but they all don't seem to work. Black just takes these Ataris, and here it resigns. So at this point, is right. Like we have only two liberties in this black group, right? It looks like we can cut this off, but again, you only have two liberties, so Atari and dead. So at this point, the game is far over. But we got to rewind all the way back here. So Black tries to take these Ataris. What happens if we play here first? Oh no, that doesn't work because Atari dead. Mm -hmm. All right, rewind some more. G12, I think. G12. G12. You push after this. Two yeah, you push out, you do G12. Ah, uh, G12, G12, thank you. Yes, yeah. this one. Uh, yes, let's use G12. This one looks promising, right? Yes. Yeah. Looks really promising. That's what I thought at first. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, you gotta connect, and I'm gonna tie here, and you gotta pull out, and I'm gonna go there, and I'm gonna eat your three stones. And I'm going to live. Do you wanna see if it works? Sure. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Connect, Atari, extend. Uh, first question, can black, oh, broken. Can black make the bamboo joint shape here? And be all shape cool? No. Yeah, no, it's just good for Tatsuji. Well, you don't even need to do that. Yeah, you just, oh, yeah, you can just, just Atari. Sorry. <laughs> just Atari. And also Tatsuji. Right. Black connects it's not Atari. super fancy to see Okay, okay. Uh, so Black has to play here, right? Mm -hmm. Agreed? Yeah. Dead yeah. shape, though. It's, it's dead shape, but we just need more liberties to capture this. Sure, yeah. sure. Alright, so Black plays here. Atari's. Take. White move is important. Throw in to the uh, center. You have to, yeah. you have to play here. Yeah. And these, these two groups are really funny because they're not connected. Right? Yeah. They're sort of connected by like two half eye spaces. When you play this space, you're actually, it's, it's more like you're shorting two liberties with one. Uh, what does black try next? Resigns. Resign. <laughs> there's nothing, there's no time to cut, no time to do anything, you do anything, it's just Atari, connect, Atari, you're dead. And it's all because of this move, right? If you go all the way back. Oh, use that in my own game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. Steal these ideas for you know. get to a large avalanche somehow. That's all it takes. You hope the person knows what they're doing, just so you can do that. Yeah. When when <laughs> this is before this move, when White plays this move, Black doesn't realize that this is a threat to capture this. It honestly doesn't look like it in general. It doesn't look like it, right? It's like, oh, you're just capturing three stones. You suck. That's a terrible exchange. Let me get all the stuff I want. But he got greedy. That's nice. After G13, you get immediately worried. So. Uh, oh yeah, like you know, you're like well, but after G13, there's dead. There's no escape. Like there's no way out of this. Yeah, they're like. I thought the burger was a little bit before. Well, 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 the pro does. The pro does too, right? And the professional, he's like, oh, oh, and he he squirms a little bit. There's nothing there. It just works. So pros are stupid, right? Yeah, for sure. The moral of the story is by the end, you're like, oh man, pros are really smart. <laughs> You know, like they, they have to figure this stuff out, you know, ahead of time or during the game. Once in a while they fail, right? And their fails are. I really like that G19 move, though. Even though Black yeah. didn't succeed. Oh, this one. This one was sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because. But he got greedy. Yeah, often when you're in capturing races along the edges, right, there's two, there's two Tesuji shapes that you need to know. One is Sagari, where you just descend to the edge, right? And that sort of lets you push in both sides, like it gets liberties. The other one is the uh, diagonal. Yeah, that's stick to diagonal. make it hard to approach. Yeah, make it hard to approach either side. Because you like a half eye here, sort of. But these are common uh, edge to suit to get liberties. All right, so I thought those were two cool, really short games. We actually, we did two game reviews today. <laughs> <laughs> two <laughs> pro <laughs> game reviews, and it was like, what, 35 minutes? <laughs> Maybe? It went through all the variations. That's, yeah. pro, that's pro review right there. That's it, yeah.